guys and thanks for tuning in to Silly Mommy TV. Today I'll be doing a review on the August Birch Box and this month's actually a very special box. Um, Birch Box has teamed up with an organization called Pencils of Promise which is a um, organization that is aiming to help build schools for children. And I'm just going to read one of the um, pamphlets that came in my box today, and it says, Pencils of Promise believes every child should have access to quality education. We create schools, programs, and global communities around the common goal of education for all. And on the back it says, Knowledge is beauty. It takes just $25,000 to build a school. We can do that. All month, we'll donate 15% of proceeds from the Birchbox shop to Pencils of Promise with the goal of building a school in Central America. Stock up on your favorite products and help us meet our goal. Want more ways to give? Want to know more ways to give? Go to pencilsofpromise.org slash donate and I'll write this in the info bar. And this applies to uh, full size orders placed from August 1st to August 31st. The minimum guaranteed donation uh, the minimum guaranteed donation of $25,000. So Birchbox is aiming to help build a school in Central America. So this is why it's very important for us uh, members who are part of uh, Birchbox and for those of you who are thinking of joining, if you really want your money to make a difference, uh, it's definitely right now is the time to do it. Definitely if you've been um, looking to buy something off the Birchbox site, go for it. Okay? And that being said, I've already opened my box. As you can tell, it's already been gotten into. I've tried some of the products already. And the reason why I did it this way is because if you've been following me for a while, I've kind of done unboxing videos as I go. So I open them, and when I'm opening them, you and I are both seeing them at the same time. Well, this time I wanted to do it a little bit different just because I know that some of you out there are still skeptical about the products in a beauty supply, beauty subscription service. And I wanted to try some of the products so that way I can give you some guaranteed, um, I don't know, where I can back up the products and say that, hey, this is really worth it and your money's really going to something, you know, that's not a waste. And the first thing, or let me see, uh, let's see. They did things a little differently this month. They came out with a pamphlet that's a little bit different. Usually it's a card about a little bit bigger than this. And it has a list of all the things that you got in your box. Um, this time it's going with the beauty school theme. As you may have seen some of the videos on Birchbox already on their channel about their theme. And there's just a little bit of how-tos in here and tips on how to use some of the products and how to read um, labels on products and stuff like that. Just a little bit of advice and then on the very end, this is how it is. Yeah. And at the very end there's a list of all the products that you get. And I got six items in my box this month. Uh, typically you get around four to five samples every month plus a lifestyle extra. This time I got seven, I believe seven items in my box. And the first thing that I pulled out of my box was the Chic Hydro Silk Razor. This is, I believe, the Lifestyle Extra that Birchbox had put into, um, or one of the Lifestyle Extras. It doesn't say on the label here, but I'm guessing that it is because it's not on my list. And um, as you can see, it's already been opened. I just put it back already because of, I don't know, display purposes. But anyway, I was really, really... Um, not too happy about receiving a razor just because I don't know well, upon hearing about it I was just like eh, a razor I have a razor I use Chic Quattro which is a really good razor has really good quality uh, that being said when I took this out and tried it I absolutely fell in love with it um, so I'm actually very 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 happy that they sent it to me thank you Birchbox for sending me a razor that almost got me in the eye. Did you see that? Oh, wow, that would have sucked. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> it's actually really lightweight. Um, most razors, or most good razors, aren't as lightweight as this, or I would have to say, in my opinion, you know, for those of you who shave your legs, which is probably pretty much 100% of you guys who are watching this video. 
But I really like this razor because it's lightweight and because, well, the detailing. It just, this razor is actually really nice. And when I used it, the hairs didn't get caught up at the end back here because you know how um, sometimes when you shave the hair gets like clogged up back here it's you can probably tell on the screen too that there's enough space in between the blades for hair to move about and wash right through I better put the cap back on here that's a hazard just swinging it around like this might poke my eye out or something but anyway um, I come from Latina Filipino descent my mother is from Guadalajara, Jalisco, and my dad has Filipino blood in him. So my hair is very thick. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the screen or on the computer if it's thick or not. I'm a brunette. It's kind of dyed right now, though. Anyway, not that it matters, but I have really thick hair as it is. So when I shave, um, if I wait till it's like a little over a centimeter long, it's really, really difficult to shave. And... Um, I find that even with the best razors, um, it still takes me about 20 minutes, sometimes half an hour to, well, maybe not that long. It takes me a while, like maybe 20 minutes, to get all the hairs thoroughly. And with this razor, um, the Chic Hydro, I actually finished in about maybe less than 15 minutes, both my legs, and it just came off really easy. Like, I didn't have to go over and over and over again. This was... This was like using, I guess, that saying where they say it's like using your husband's razor or your boyfriend's razor. Your husband or boyfriend is going to want to use your razor because this is an awesome razor. So anyway, not to make the video all about the Chic Hydro razor. And there's coupons in the back too. Woo! Yeah! But anyway, this was the Lifestyle Extra and I was very, very happy to have it. And you should go buy it if you didn't get it in your box. <laughs> Ah, okay, so I'm just gonna start with the list. Um, the first thing on my list is Caldria hand soap, and they come like so. And it's actually kind of a small sample, but they gave me two. I already used the other one though. Um, let's see. The pamphlet says that it is a delicious smelling soap lo 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 loaded with aloe vera and olive oil to soften hands. A full size costs or retails about $10.50. So that's pretty expensive hand soap. Um, that being said, after trying it out, I actually do really like this hand soap. I'm not very big on, you know, like taking no on those kinds of things just because I've never really cared about as long as I got my hands clean, that's all that mattered to me. But after using it one time, um, my hand was noticeably a lot softer. And I have really rough hands. And so, hold on, it's my Mary Kay set hands. I don't know if any of you know what that is, but it's just like really awesome stuff that makes your hands soft from Mary Kay. But anyway, this was really great. I loved it. Moving on. Next thing on the list is from Juicy Couture, their new fragrance, Viva Le Juicy La Fleur. This modern scent is a feminine blend of wild berries, mandarin, and water lily. Retails for about $70. And something just popped up on my screen. And it looks like this, the sample here. I have a full size bottle of the other Viva Le Juicy. I love this scent. But anyway, it's really, um, there's a picture of it right there. Of what the bottle looks like and as you can tell I've already used it too it's like halfway already love this scent it's really really nice it smells really great mm. uh, <laughs> like, no. if I could like edit this video to like make like little smoke going on like little pink or purple fragrance smoke like we do in the cartoons just be like Ooh, that'd be so awesome, but I don't know how to do that, so my video is kind of boring, I'm sorry. But it, it does smell, you can definitely smell the fragrance of the different flowers in there. It's not too strong as long as you don't, if you know how to put on perfume, perfume will never be too strong. But, um, I like it. It smells really nice. Definitely flowery, uh, definitely a fragrance worth wearing in the summertime, so I loved that, and I I'm definitely interested in this. So that's three things so far out of seven that I liked. 
Um, next on the list, if I can find the list, is by Stila. Oh, speaking of things that I like, um, I like the Stila brand. I'm very fond of them. Um, tried out a few of their palettes the other day, you know, the ones that are like 4C and like, I don't know what they're called. I'll link it down in the info bar. But anyway, still is a big product. It's really awesome. However, um, the sample that they sent me was three samples, actually. It was the, um, well, I'll just read it to you. Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Balm. So, you know, beauty creams, BB creams are it right now. They're in right now. Talking about repeating myself. Next sample was foundation and another one of concealer, and they were just, you know, all those things are just awesome and all, but they just didn't match my skin. So um, I don't have the sample with me anymore because I gave it away to one of my besties who's probably going to put it in her video if she didn't get Stella, and she probably did. She hasn't gotten her box yet, or maybe she did, I don't know. But anyway, give it to my bestie, one of my besties. So I didn't like that product just because it was too dark, but normally I like stuff. So next we're going to go into the product or brand Way, W-H, or W-E-I, Way, Way, <laughs> if you're Mexican you're probably laughing right now, Way, <laughs> I think I'm pronouncing that right, I hope so. Um, they gave me two samples of this stuff, pomegranate buffing beads, it says mix this powdered and exfoliant with your favorite cleanser to create an antioxidant, antioxidant packed scrub. 20 packets usually retail for about $20, so that's pretty good. Um, what can I say about these beads? They, it's definitely an exfoliant. Let me go like this. I just looked into the screen and then I saw, ooh, and that's probably not what you want to see. Let's just, let's do that. Okay. All right. Next, or, oh gosh, you guys, I'm like all over the place. <laughs> I totally did the spur of the moment. I didn't plan it at all. Usually I like have a script and I like go off of that. But anyway, the buffing beads. These remind me a lot of the powders that we use at the spa I work at. Um, so I guess that's a plus. I don't really know what to say on them. I mean, it works just like an exfoliant. Um, though my personal opinion... I don't, I think it's messy. I think it's just really messy. That I mean, it's not that I didn't think it worked or didn't work well or anything like that. I think it worked fine and stuff, but it's just messy. So for exfoliants, if you're somebody who just doesn't, maybe it's the packets, I have no idea. It just, just didn't do it for me. I mean, I don't want to say anything negative just because I love Birchbox, and I would love to refer you and get my 10 or 50 points. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> anyway, it, like I said, I got two of these packets, so that's pretty good. But I didn't like them because they were too messy. Anyway, next is another product from Way. <laughs> Way. And I got the Golden Root Purifying Mud Mask. It says, conquer finicky skin with this clarifying mask. China clay purges dirt and oil from your pores. Retails for about $42 for a full size. And here is the sample. Let me see, am I, am I holding it upright? I don't even know what their logo looks like. I hope I'm holding it upright. And it's just a regular mud mask. And I actually haven't tried this yet. I'm very excited to though because I know that this is a really good brand too. I use their cleansers on or their cleanser on occasion. It's very gentle. Um, so was the exfoliant, by the way. It worked well. Um, just didn't like that it was messy. Anyway, I'm really excited to try this. Um, I will link a video from Birchbox explaining how they used this, just so you're not like, what is that? It's um, basically a mud mask, pretty much. That's all it is. I can't wait to try this out. Okay. Next. If you can hear my husband in this video, I sincerely apologize. He's playing League of Legends right now in the other room, which is on the other side of the house. So if you can hear him, I'm sorry. 
Last thing that I got from Birch Box is a UB or moisturizing skin cream from the brand UB, which is Japanese. And it says this best selling Japanese cream hydrates chapped lips, rough heels, and cracked hands. Retails for about $16 for full size, which is not bad. And it came looking like this. And it's actually upside down now, but oh well. Came like that. And how do I open it again? Oh, there it is. And there's a little piece of paper in here that explains, you know, all of that good stuff that you need to know about a product. know about it because it's boring paper reading stuff is kind of boring sometimes unless you don't use it right and then you know something happens and then you're like why didn't you read the directions and blah 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 i'm just going off on tangents right now i'm really really tired and then we ran out of coffee yeah okay anyway <laughs> that's what it looks like it's pretty small but there's a lot of product in this small little sucker right here i said sucker not the other word just in case <laughs> Oh, and I used it as a lip balm, and I've already tried it on my feet and my hands, and I'm just going to, I'm going to sample it on my hands that has a burn on it, but you can't really see it so well, thank God, but it looks really bad, and don't ask me how I got it, because I was an idiot, and I got burned, and I'm not going to tell you how. But <laughs> my gosh, shut up, Priscilla. <laughs> anyway, it smells a lot like Carmex. And I love the smell of Carmex. I really, really do. I even love the tingling feeling of Carmex. And it has a little bit of that tingling feeling, but it goes away really fast. Like, even the scent goes, goes away really fast. And there's just, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's pretty full in there. I've used, like, the part that I'm bending, that's how much I've used. Or this part. This part right here. This one. I've used that much product already. And it's, um, a little bit really does go a long way. My skin's really soft. It's not greasy, too. Like, um, when you're first putting it on, it feels like it's going to be one of those products that is just going to be so greasy and, like, you know, like, like oily and you just can't grab anything or open the doors or even anything like that just because it's so greasy. But anyway, uh, after, like, working it into your skin, the greasiness goes away really fast. And it's really super soft so soft like I wish that you could like stick your hand through the computer and just like feel how soft well that would be creepy never mind <laughs> gosh I'm being such a goof today but anyway it's really soft it smells like Carmex and I really like it and I'll probably I probably will buy this right here so yeah that is it for the items that I got in my box sorry if I'm just kind of like going off into tangents and I'm just everywhere, but it's, <sighs> just wanted to express how important it is to buy off of the Birchbox site this month, just because, I don't know, I, when it comes to like, causes, especially causes of building like a school for children in Central America and just, you know, things like that, I think it just grabs my attention more just because you're making a difference and your money is actually going to something that, you know, is making a difference. It's doing something good instead of, you know, and, and that, and if you buy a lot and you feel guilty, you don't have to feel guilty this month because 15% of it is going to help build a school. So yeah. Anyway, Birchbox, 10 bucks a month. And you can save $10 by purchasing a annual subscription. So basically, you're getting a month for free if you do the annual subscription, and I think it's $120 for an annual subscription. I have no idea. I'll link all the correct information in the info bar. can't remember. But month to month, $10. And they have a point system, which is so awesome. I love point systems, you guys. <laughs> I think I'm just going to shut up now. I'll link everything down in the info bar for you guys. Um... Yeah, so that's it for my box. Check out Birchbox. They're absolutely awesome. And have a nice day. Stay tuned for next month's unboxing video. Well, this wasn't really unboxing because I already opened it prior. But anyway, shutting up now. Later. <laughs>